how did I find the exam? I found it harder than I expected. I mean, in the prep guide, it's mostly communication types, you know, situational, but there was a lot of knowledge questions that came out to my surprise. Those who used NCLEX books, review books, said that they've seen similar questions come out from there. So I, I was shocked and I, I felt bad that I didn't invest my time into looking at the NCLEX questions. But however, I'm hoping for the best. I did find it hard and so did everybody else. So I guess that's a good thing. The next day, which was yesterday, I started feeling sick and I woke up remembering all my mistakes. I don't know why. I just woke up remembering all the wrong things that I did and wishing I could go back and I started freaking out and everything and I felt like I needed to talk to someone but I couldn't because I couldn't discuss content and then I started just losing my mind and then I asked one of my classmates to kind of call me and because I need to debrief and it's it's good to at least confide in one person and so I did. I called her up and I started telling her all everything that I felt I did wrong and stuff and and then, uh, you know, re doing that, I realized I counted how many wrong answers I remembered having, and they came up to seven. Seven sure wrongs. And that's all I remember. I don't remember anything else, like the things that I didn't struggle with, I didn't remember. I, all I remembered were my mistakes, and I guess that's what made me feel bad. I, I saw only seven for sure wrong. I was like, oh, okay, there there might be a chance, you know? It might not have been as bad as I thought. So, uh, yeah, I, it's hard. After that today, I actually felt better. I'm not as sick as I was, and I started feeling like, wow, yeah, there's a chance I could be an RN after this, you know? I could actually make it. But this is the hardest part, I guess, of the whole process, the part where you have to wait and wait they said that it'll take some people said it'll take approximately six to eight weeks before you know the results some say four to six weeks so it should run around somewhere there so it'll probably be either mid or late march and so it's still a long way to go but uh probably my couple next videos will pro be about my job search and everything else so i haven't been employed as a graduate nurse yet although i do have my license so I'm gonna look into that next and uh, this is kind of like the most dreadful part of it all. I, I don't really like applying at jobs. It's one of the most stressful things and you try to make everything perfect and you try to reach the right people and you don't know how to approach different institutions because most of them want only online. However, the online process you feel like you never get a chance to show who you are uh, fully because it's very impersonal. So that's going to be my next challenge. I'll share uh, my journey with you still. And then at this point, it's done. It's done. And so we're just waiting for results. And hopefully when I get it, I'll film the part where I open it in front of you guys. I don't know. Depending, maybe my family would want to be with me when I open it. I'll update you guys still and uh, we'll take it from there so thank you again for watching uh i wonder how everybody did how everybody else found this year any february 2014 any thoughts uh post your comment below and i'm sorry i don't really um invite people to post comments and i notice I, I i barely have any comments in my other videos so please feel free to um give me a, some advice or just what you think how it went for you guys so i kind of know where you're at as well to all my new and old subscribers, thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate your support and I hope you continue to support. I mean, I hope we continue to support each other, right? Because that's what we're kind of doing. And uh, that's it. So uh, until I hear back from them, I'll keep you posted. One more thing. For those of you wondering um, how my bladder worked on that day, it was surprising because um, I did have my adult diaper on. However, I did feel in between the the urge to kind of pee. And I tried, but it just went away. And the entire exam, I didn't pee or use the washroom or anything. I guess it's the stress that comes with it. You just suddenly don't feel like it. But I did notice some people um, going to the washrooms and whatnot. They escorted two people at 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 the time, 
And so, uh, yeah, that's how it went. I actually didn't, didn't feel like it until after the exam. That's where I bursted out. But other than that, yeah, I just thought I'd add.